Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023, and we have with us right now Dr. Ryan Lee. He is Chair of Radiology at Jefferson Einstein. Dr. Lee, thanks for being with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. So, Dr. Lee, you're uh, kind of known as a key opinion leader in AI, and so we're going to talk a little bit about AI, and specifically AI for uh, chest imaging in this segment. Can you talk a little bit about where you see AI right now, and, and what are some of the most valuable applications that you see for it? You know, we're very early, and even though we've been talking about AI for seemingly a number of years, I think we're still very early in the game. It's clear to me, though, that AI is going to be an integral tool for the radiologists in the future. Um, and you know, talk about AI, it's, we talk a lot about the diagnostic AI algorithms, but the logistic and the workflow type algorithms have the opportunity to be just as transformatory as some of these diagnostic algorithms. Yeah, you bet. Now, um, AI's been around for a few years now. We've got a lot of algorithms that have been cleared, but it seems like adoption is, is taking a little while to get going. What do you think, why is that, and what do you think needs to happen to get AI in use a little bit more? One of the things I think that's held back the adoption of AI is radiologist education. And what I mean by that is not necessarily, hey, what should a radiologist do to click on to see a heat map or to see the output of an algorithm? That is important. The education I'm talking about is how should we tell radiologists they should be using the algorithm and in so doing, how should radiologists change what they fundamentally do? And I think until we're able to get to that point where radiologists are fundamentally changing something that they're doing, I think that it'll be difficult to have real good adoption of AI. Now, uh, what are some of the use cases for AI that you're most excited about? Well, in the diagnostic realm, there's so many different use cases. I mean, at Jefferson Einstein, we have uh, uh, multiple algorithms that are in clinical production, whether it's pulmonary embolus, nodule detection, intracranial hemorrhage. So I think that full gamut will have similar use cases in terms of being a tool for the radiologist. Now, um, you also are involved in chest imaging, and um, I guess you were a user of Riverain's uh, ClearRead technology. Can you talk a little bit about that and, and how you find that useful? Yeah, we've been collaborating with Riverain for over eight years. Um, in fact, I believe we were the first site license uh, for Riverain. Um, and it's in many ways transformed the way the, the cardiothoracic radiologists read. So there have been uh, several benefits, I think. How does it work? So basically, it's, a, it's already in the system. The, the Riverain model or algorithm uh, ingests the information and sends back basically secondary screen captures and also analyzes uh, the pixels for, and is able to show nodules uh, side by side with the images in question. And I guess there's also a, a, a kind of a, a, a noise suppression algorithm that kind of clears up the images so they're easier to read? Yes, that's a, well, and we actually have also for the x-rays. So there is a noise suppression that makes the nodule a little easier to identify. And ultimately the goal is that the radiologist doesn't have to work as hard to find the nodules. Now are you, are you using ClearRead for screening? Yes, we use it for our low dose lung CT as well. And how, how is that program going? Are you seeing an increased uptake of, of CT lung screening? Um, I don't know if it's increased the uptake of screening. I think that's more in the pulmonologist realm, but I think they're very appreciative that we have this uh, nodule software running in the background. Very good. Anything else here at RSNA that you've seen that, that you think is interesting and you'd like to kind of draw out for our viewers? Well, the interesting thing is I think that there is continues to be, and maybe that shouldn't be too surprising, more and more of these diagnostic algorithms. Um, at the same time, I'm also seeing a lot of the logistic algorithms as well, which I think are things that we should pay attention to more and more in radiology. These are things like uh, dealing with uh, radiology operations and efficiency, things like that? Absolutely. It could be anywhere from scheduling to protocoling, impression generation, uh, patient notification using NLP. I think these are all transformatory things that sometimes gets less pressed than the diagnostic algorithms. All right, very good. Well, Dr. Ryan Lee of Jefferson Einstein, thanks for being with us today. Okay, thank you. All right, signing off from RSNA 2023, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire.